and welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing another Brick in the Mall. All right, well, um, a couple things. Uh, so I added a little bit of space here. It was cheaper to add this little space back here than it was to rebuild all of these. So I've got all of these able to be used. All of these I moved over one, took out the other order counter here, and then all of these are now accessible as well. So yeah, we're actually we're actually making a little bit of money with our bowling alley, which is kind of cool. I didn't really expect to make anything with that. Otherwise, it's just sort of uh, the ebb and flow of sales, and uh, yeah, we're we're actually doing really well. Every single day, we're making quite a bit of money. Uh, our number of customers on site are doing really really well, and. Uh, from the look of things during our peak busiest hour we're pretty much maxed out on our grocery store uh, it would be very hard to expand this out so what I'm thinking is after we build the cinema and get this all up and running and the cinema is gonna go right in here after we get that built I'm gonna probably build another much larger grocery store down here uh, and then repurpose this to something else. Um, not 100% sure how I want to do that yet, but uh, these lines fill up really fast. Even with the three I added, uh, it's still it's still pretty pretty maxed out. Especially as people leave, as as the shifts change, all that stuff happens. Uh, yeah, we we're pretty maxed out as well. As our stocking, I've got uh, so many stock clerks working here to try to keep these shelves stocked. So I want to do a much, much larger grocery store before we before we enable this last this last connection, which will really max this thing out. Uh, I want to uh, get that planned out and going. So we've got lots and lots of cash. Uh, to work with here. So let's start a cinema. So build foundation. So first I want to build and get these things squared away. Literally squared off. Uh, and then let's let's plan on a very large area for the cinema. I want a nice big theater. I love Love, I love me some big theaters. Uh, okay, and let's make sure that's connected there. Uh, and then we want to build objects. I want the double doors right in here for the cinema. Now we just need to figure out how we're gonna lay this thing out so we need for a cinema uh, where is it movie theater okay requires a ticket lobby to operate so it, it requires access obviously a projector spectator seats and a ticket lobby so I am thinking our ticket lobby is gonna be right in here and then our theaters are gonna be all the way around so if we want to build uh, walls now I'm thinking so that if this is our ticket lobby we're gonna bring this down here we don't need to make it too big I, I don't think very many of these screens are gonna be full necessarily but we want I want to lay this out sort of like any other theater is laid out So this will be the ticket lobby here. So I'm gonna build another wall here. Um, and I am thinking with the projectors, how the projectors are gonna work. Uh, we're gonna want a wall there 
but not one there. Or we could put the wall here and go over this way and put another theater here. So that is how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, let's just go to the end. Okay. Let's go over here. Uh, we could probably put two theaters in here. I'm just going to box this out and then close those two there. So there's another couple theaters there. And so let's plan this one out on this side. Okay, and uh, right in the middle here, we'll have a big, we'll have a big theater here. What are you guys doing? You guys are really messing with my head there. Um, so right th through here, we'll have a big theater. Do I want to? I wonder if you can rotate the projectors. Because I could put two of them in here. Um, I'm going to I'm going to take this out. So remove walls right there. Okay, so this is all done in here. So the ticket lobby is right here and it requires cashiers oh uh, order counters that's what i'm looking for it's just like a fast food so here's an order counter so we're going to rotate these oops it's q not o so i think right in here will be good so one two three four five six six for there and I also want floor tiles I want nice colorful floor tiles in here look at our our money is still doing good that's awesome so nice red carpet floor tiles for our main theaters uh, and then for let's see don't really have much much option as far as that goes so there's the ticket lobby uh, and then we'll, we'll let's uh, ticket lobby this all the way out to there and then connect these up and I know I didn't need to do it like this I could have joined these and put this wall right in here so uh, let's uh, let's do that remove walls right in here we're gonna build walls right through here and here and this one and this one will be the, the the doorway instead and we're also going to need floor tiles we're going to need to set these floor tiles right right through there okay so Finish that off. Uh, and this can be like an emergency exit. You know how there's always an emergency exit. Okay, so um, doors. I want to build objects, uh, doors. Here, here, those are, do I need, I don't really need double doors, but you know what, why not? There we go. One over here. 
Okay. So there is the ticket lobby. That's kind of hard on the eyes, but uh, it is what it is. I don't mind. So, huge theater. Uh, let's... I want to make this consistent here so anybody... Anybody with OCD doesn't mind. Okay, so... Objects. Uh, I need... Movie projector. Okay, we can rotate this. Uh, so I want to put it back here. I want a nice big screen on there. Uh, eh. no, I'll put it back in here. And then this one can go back here. 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 Just trying to get these to work. Here and ooh, this is kind of a an awkwardly sized one here. Um, and then let's put this one in the back. These ain't cheap either. Ten grand a pop. So the spectator seats. This is for our wonderful viewers. And we're going to try, actually, I think we need to leave a space in between here. I wish you could, like, click and drag these. That would be so handy. A lot of spectator seats. What are these a day? Dollar a day? So this is going to be an expensive, oops. Expensive system. That's quite a few seats for that little system. Uh, so let's now assign. I can put. A, I can do the other seats off camera, but uh, we're going to want a ticket lobby, and we want to schedule this as our ticket lobby here. And let's join that in. So this whole thing is our ticket lobby. Just like that, and then cinema, movie theater, is right here. So all of these, oops, all of these will be theaters. And I'll name these, you know, theater one, theater two, not a big issue. So there we go. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a nine screen theater. And uh, let's set up ticket lobby. This will be um, moving, moving memes. Okay. And I can rename all of the, all the ticket lobby or all the cinemas and stuff later. Uh, but manage moving theater, we're going to assign this lobby. Um, it doesn't look like we need anything else. It requires at least 20 spectator seats. So if we go through here and we assign this lobby, assign the lobby, require a ticket lobby. There. Why is that not? Requires a ticket lobby. Uh, what? Requires an associated theater. Assign lobby. Is it because it's incomplete? I think it might be. That's what I think it might be. Uh, unless it's just because it's paused and it doesn't have time to update. But let's see. Let's get some let's get some cashiers going in here. Uh, let's see. We want somebody good sociability there. I just want to at least have one a one all day. And one more, and then we'll know what our demand is later on. Oh, 
What's with the sociability? Wow, nobody's social anymore. Okay, so there is the cashiers. So now can I assign lobby? Yes, okay. Uh, all right, so this will be, this will be uh, screen one. And this will be screen two. Why do I have to erase all that? And assign lobby. Uh, this will be screen three. Screen four. Can't hit enter. Keep. I keep trying to hit enter. Screen five. So I'm not sure how all of these work. So we're going to name this one screen six. So this is kind of a learning process. I haven't played the game enough to get this far. Seven. And then eight. And then finally nine. Okay, it's still paused, which will allow me to build these spectator seats. Uh, oh, no, these are need to be turned around. And one more row, or is that is that good? I think that's good. Spin these around. Not sure how all of this works, but uh, we will see very, very, very soon. I want to get these some of these done. <clears throat> To allow our builders a little a little bit of work for when they come in inevitably to build all of these because they are pretty fast. I'm trying to build these as fast as I can here. So yeah, I, I highly doubt any of these theaters will ever be full. We're gonna we're gonna this is gonna be our luxury theater in here because it's so big we're gonna add an, another space on the side oh let's just do this, and we're going to add one more on this side. And then this one is kind of weird. So we're going to try to fit. They need at least 20 chairs. We shouldn't have any problem with that on any of these. They are big enough. Right click to remove something that you've placed. There we go. So now we can, let's play regular speed here uh, while the builders catch up. And this one's going to be a little bit close as far as the 20 seat goes. This is kind of our smaller, this is a theater that is used, you know, for movies that have been out a while. So that should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh yeah, that's plenty. And this one, who knows, who knows how big this one's gotta be. A lot of wasted space in here, I have a feeling. Need to get the, the right amount of chairs in here though. And then this one,
like so. And then I can, okay, lobby is set, lobby is set, sign lobby, sign lobby, sign lobby, sign lobby. There we go. So this one should be good. It's active. Those, these two are active. Our first cashier is showing up. So that should help us out here. Uh, and these are, this person's going home, which is nice. Um, pharma, queues are full. Wow. Really? That must be an old warning. All right, so our first cashier is ready for ticket sales. Now it's just a matter of getting people down here to enjoy the cinema. And it's going to cost me quite a lot of money just to keep these things going. So I'm going to speed her up, maybe get our first cinema goer for, the first ep for this episode here. Okay, this one should be active now. Good. All right, we have moviegoers. Now, where are they gonna go? What are they paying me, first of all? 10, 12, 17? Oh, that's not bad. No more of that, please. Okay, we're definitely gonna need more uh, staff. So hire. <clears throat> we're gonna hire some more cashiers for the new day. And uh, let's see, trying to get somebody with some sociability here, and that's not easy. Uh, so we're going to have somebody coming in at 8. Good sociability, very, very slow, though. Uh, and so let's hire one more to kind of make up for that slowness. Look at the sociability on these people. Horrible. Uh, so we're going to have you come in at noon for maybe some rush. All right, look at that. People enjoying the movies. And that should help also our uh, peak customers. Sort of give them, give them something to do. Yay. Going to screen two. Oh, no. They're... They're getting munchies. Good. Glad I put that right next to the food court because that really will help boost some sales in here. Um, check out queues are full. Yeah, just the one cashier that kind of hurt our sales for the day. Uh, but we have we have some people in here, so that's good. And this movie, there it is. Good, and now that we are in a new day, we can actually check out. We made 95 bucks, that's not bad. Hopefully, hopefully that improves. So that person's heading home. They're gonna enjoy a movie. Uh, now, do their traits, okay. Because there are some traits that are uh, that are uh, more likely to do certain things like movie buff or what what have you but now that we have the ticket sales going we should be able to really draw some some massive numbers of people in I'm hopeful now that that theater is up and running that we will because it was not cheap to build all of that stuff no, you're, you just missed the start of the movie. So it kind of uh, rotates the play. So uh, this one will probably start up next, I'm thinking. Or it waits till tickets are actually sold, which would be nice. So where's this person going? Okay, this person's going to probably... No, this person's coming up here. You were a little late to the movie there, buddy. All right, so it only uses them if it really needs them. We've got plenty, 
plenty of chairs for just hundreds and hundreds of moviegoers. So movies, 108 demand. We have plenty of capacity for that. The real issue is when they all arrive, are we going to have enough cashiers to actually make that work? Um, so yeah, we're going to, I'm going to hire one more cashier because it's early enough in the day. I want to bring in another cashier for later at night. Cause I think that's kind of when most of our movie goers are going to start showing up. All right. Excellent. Really, really bring them in. Help pull a lot of people down this direction and kind of reshuffle them in my in my area. Bowling is not doing too bad. Uh, we're actually making a profit on bowling, which is surprising. I like how the triangle of play actually shows the whole thing. So this is like our jumbo theater down here, jumbo screen. All right, well, that'll do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.